Judge, today's case is dead weight. He's not working, and she's not happy about it. The question is, after six years, is anyone willing to change? Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Betty Florimond and David Morrison. The two of you have been together for six years. Ms. Florimond, you are suing Mr. Morrison for the amount of $1,200 for the first month's rent and security deposit for your apartment. You're going to tell me a little bit about that later. But before you do, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today. Your Honor, I'm here today because being with David is like carrying around a big bag of bricks. David is just dead weight. Now, why do you say Mr. Morrison is, is dead weight? Your Honor, he got fired from two jobs on two separate occasions on his day off. Who gets fired on their day off? <laughs> like, I, that doesn't even Was make sense. Was it a sense. Friday? No. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Morrison, did you actually manage to get fired twice on your day off? Yes, ma'am. How does that happen? I don't even know. Your Honor, I know, I know. You know why? Because he's will get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, be on video game whoa, whoa, all whoa, day, whoa. all night. He don't eat, he don't wash nothing, he don't clean nothing, he just don't do nothing. But and how then, does that get him fired yeah, on his day off? Because he don't sleep. But she... The next morning when the kids are getting up, he's still playing video games. And I got a picture to prove it. Like, he ain't got no bills. Let's see, let's see the picture. <laughs> You can catch anybody sleeping, exactly. Mr. Morrison. What do you have to say in response to that allegation? Your Honor, there is no way. Florida, Your Honor, is one of the hardest states Excuses. to work in. Excuses. It's easy to get a job and it's quick to lose a job. If you look at some, if you look at an owner wrong, he could just tell you to go back home. Uh huh. So, the job she's talking about that I got fired on my day off, the guy usually lets you start on Thursday, so you can get a whole week's check. But I started on Monday. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, I was walking to work. It's a 30 to 30-40-minute 30 to 40 minute walk every morning. Got to work in the rain. I was never used to it. I, I don't know, Your Honor. It was just... I still don't know how you got fired. I don't know either. All I know is I probably did tell the people that I was going to come on Friday... I mean, on Saturday. That's an excuse. I probably did tell That's the an... people that I was going to come on a Friday and the no, end of on that... Saturday. On no. Saturday? Yes. So when I woke up that Saturday, I was so tired that I couldn't even get up out of the bed. Well, then so, that's why you got fired. Exactly, you didn't show. No, but games. Your Honor, it wasn't even mandatory. Your Honor, you know, there was one time I let him use my car to go to work. Uh-huh. Thinking he's at work, the job called me looking for him, talking about they can't find him. Where did he go? By video games. No, that's listen, why he can't keep the job. He need to be <laughs> That's not even Just true. Just tell the truth why that's he can't keep the job. That's not even true. That is the Look, truth. What do you say that's is true, truth. Mr. Morrison? The only... I did uh, buy the game, but I was going to take it back but before I can even take it back... But the room was doing the first. Before I, I can even take, take it back, back she no was just sense. going off for no reason and it just made me... But did you kind of know that you really couldn't afford the game it to begin with? Why does she need to tell you? I'm not your mama. No, but listen, though, Your Honor, I took it back. I, I got it the same day, ready to take it back. She told me, of course, it was her car, that I couldn't use the car, so I couldn't take it back. He don't have a license either. He don't have a license. He want to drive my car. Mr. Morrison, what do you think the problem is? Give me something. I mean, at first, I really thought it was going to... The issue was with, like, me being too young and dealing with her, like, being a he father... He has nothing to do with it. I'll do the resumes for no, him. Let, let the man finish. He's struggling enough as it is. Give me Mr. Morrison. Like a, being <laughs> what a are you trying to tell Your me? Honor, being a father at 23 or 24 years old with kids that's not even old enough to be your kids is really kind of some pressure. Uh -huh. no, Your Honor, let me explain that. When I first met Mr. Morrison, you know what he told me? When I was 29, he said he was 29, too, so his, that's his fault for lying. I don't even I told remember him I that, had Your children Honor. I promise, I don't everything. remember lying I about took my... him to the DMV because he had found a job and they needed his license. I get to the front of the DMV with the lady. The lady's like, how, how old are you, sir? What is your date of birth? He's like, it's... it's <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's what? It's what? I was like, I can't hear, I can't hear. Let me come a little closer. He was like, please don't make a scene. Please don't make a scene. Let's wait till we go outside. This is my real age. Are you kidding me? You knew what you was getting did, into. Did you lie, th your lie Honor, about I your age? Your Honor, I do not even remember me lying. I promise. You don't remember I do not, nothing. I don't never... Well, what do you remember? The only thing I remember is I be trying my best. I be working in Florida, doing whatever I could do, but I think it's the issue is that I don't have no license. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. 
problem. That's a huge problem. But that's not true, Your Honor. I lost the car. You know, I lost my car because of him, because I'm the only one working. I catch six buses, and I walk Your one Honor. hour. So why he can't do it? I'm a woman. Wait, Your if Honor... If I can do it, you can do it. You're a man. <laughs> Mr. Morris... I'm telling you. Mr. Morris said I'm, 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 I'm really rooting for you over here, just so you can get something that looks good out. So, so, so... Do you understand her distress with respect to her your lack of employment? Yes, ma'am, I do. But I'm telling you, I'm trying the best that I can, Your Honor. You ain't I... trying hard enough. What honey. does that involve? Me shifting from not trying to take public transportation because, see, I'm from, I'm, I was born in New York, but I'm like a Georgia boy because I was living in Latonia and I was living in a little bit in the Decatur. So. I didn't like how certain people could get on the bus, and that's what had me scared about... So you special? You didn't like how people were getting <laughs> no, on the bus? No, certain people, like, like I want to say homeless people or whatever, to pick, like Florida... Oh, so you, so you just... You don't want to take public transportation because you don't want to be around... I don't want to deal with... Like, ...ne'er-do-wells or, or people who are down on oh, their luck. he must luck. be rich. He must be are rich. Are you serious? <laughs> no, oh, Your me. Honor. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's not like oh, y'all on Betty's side, man. <laughs> I'm trying to... Say something <laughs> that I can say. He's got a point. I'm tr Yo, Your Honor, I promise I'm trying the best that I can. I don't know if she don't see it or I don't know That's what... That's not it... trying. I don't that think you are you trying the best that you can because <laughs> if you're trying the best you can and she lost a car, you get on the bus with whomever and you go down to get a job because you're a dude and, and, and you think it's right. And you're a grown person. That's what you do. That's what you do. You, if you tell your employer you're gonna come on Saturday, even though it's not mandatory, you show up on Saturday. That shows him that you're somebody to be trusted. You get your license in order. That's all grown folk business. You with me on that, yes, Mr. Morrison? Yes, ma'am, I am. Are you high? No. <laughs> he might be. He might be. Nah. He might be. Nah, Your Honor, I have... As I've been trying to look for a job and do everything and move in the right direction, I promise I don't smoke. The only thing I probably smoke no, is... No, because he ain't got no money. That's why you don't smoke. Tell the truth now. No, nah, that truth. ain't true, Your Honor. All Tell the right. truth. I mean, yours was a little tight. I just, Oh, no, no, no. You looked baked to me, but okay. Me now. I'll pass. I'm good. I don't smoke. I think that he's picky. I think that he would work if it was the right job right for job. him. Yeah. But he's not gonna work anywhere. I ain't lazy though. I ain't got no problem doing whatever I wanna do, but it's just the, the, the type of jobs that I get and how they treat you at the job that. Which is what she just said. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, I, I do agree with her then. All right. Sister is here. Yes, ma'am. Nick, would you would you bring out Davia Morrison? Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You're Mr. Morrison's sister, are you not? I am. And can you give me in your perspective <laughs> on this relationship here? Okay, so they, my brother and Betty's relationship is very toxic, and I believe that they are probably better apart than being together, mainly because they don't know how to communicate. And my brother, even though he's 29 years old, he's like 29 years old, but stuck in a 13-year-old's body. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Um, do you think he's... She says he's lazy and doesn't want to work. Do you agree with that, or do you have a different opinion? I think that he's picky. I think that he would work if it was the right job, right job. for him. Yeah. But he's not going to work anywhere. Is that, is that kind of true? Not really. Not really? I mean... I ain't lazy, though. I ain't got no problem doing whatever I want to do, but it's just the, the, the type of jobs that I get and how they treat you at the jobs that... Which is what she just said. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> yeah, I, I do agree with her. What she <laughs> just <laughs> said! Yeah, I do agree with her, then, Your Honor. I do. I agree with her. Holy cow! <laughs> My understanding is they argue a lot about her daughter. Are you privy to those conversations? You know, sometimes when they get into arguments, they love to call me and put me on speaker, but half the time... No, but look... I'm... L -l 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 but half the time, they're arguing over each other where I can't even understand what's going on in the house. I'm okay. like, what do you guys want me to do? Right. Yeah. So why do you... Wh why do you say you argue so much about over your daughter? We're arguing over my daughter because he thinks he should be living at somebody's house for free. Whoa. And because my daughter is living at my house and not paying no bills, he's like, well, I can't get the same privileges for and you. I... So you're saying she's not oh, pulling her weight in the household, even though not she's living there. All right, there. so for instance, like she said, we, me and her don't have a car right now, right? 
Her daughter had a car. I walk home and I'll see her daughter's car parked outside, and I'm blasting her phone up like, if we a you, you think that she should give you a ride? I don't really think yes, I would she just. She said that. You do. I would He's just... very entitled, Your Honor. Yeah. I'm sorry yes, to he is. He is. <laughs> no, the problem is, he know, and, he, and and the and the deep thing is, he knows. Right. So we can't tell it. He can't own it. He knows how but bad it's But, Your Honor, if you a family, right, your family, wouldn't your brother or even if you had a stepson or whatever, wouldn't you expect for him to, to be like a real son or whatever? Well, if I had a man living in my house, he'd have to have a job and his own ride right. or I'd kick him to the curb. Thank so you. I can't speak for her. <laughs> I would expect more from a grown man than I would from my own child. I just would. That's me. You asked. <laughs> um... Man, all I know is, I don't know, to my last job, I don't know, they fired me. You see, and... you always talking about these last jobs, the last job, keep a job, get a job. <laughs> Do something like that. He's deeply, deeply lazy. Yep, he is. <laughs>
you have this massive wrong sitting right smack dab in the middle of the room, and you wander around the edges of it talking about what other people aren't doing quite correctly. The state of Florida's laws aren't right. The, it, the, the bus has all the wrong people on it. And you talk about all of these little things when the big, serious, incorrect behavior is the, your failure to work. Period. End of story. decided it's enough. He's not one of these guys who will fall victim to, to rationality. He's deeply, deeply lazy. Yep, he is. <laughs> yeah. He is. Your Honor, that trust is. me, I And am... he does whatever he needs to do to accommodate that. And he's got you handling that for him. The longer he's lazy, the harder it's going to be to be better than he is. And you're allowing him to, to uh, desiccate from the inside out, not des desiccate, right. dry up. All right. <laughs> I know how y'all think. <laughs> so tell me about that $1,200 you won. Make it good. But, Your Honor, this I'm is... I'm not talking to you. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm talking to a woman with money. Right. <laughs> okay. So what do you want this them... for? What, what, is, what is the... What so, is the basis of your complaint? While we were staying in the car, I was still working, and I was able to save up $2,400 to move into the apartment, which mm -hmm. Mr. Morrison Your gave Honor, me nothing of. Stop. So since I moved, since I used my all my money to move in, I want him to give me to the chip hat. in. Yeah, because you you still in the house, you won't leave. Mr. Watch. Mr. Morrison, your response would be. Watch what she's gonna say, Your Honor. I want your response. I don't want to watch what the she's reason say. why I, I wasn't, I ain't have no money, Your Honor. And even you still she, have no money. Nah, but look, <laughs> I was paying for hotels, Your Honor. Now she's gonna say. I paid for hotels too. I paid for hotels. Exactly. I paid for hotels with the school and work. I get it. You're not getting any money. You knew who he was. You knew what was going on. He doesn't. He's not obligated to pay you anything. That's what. The only thing I want to change is this. Only thing. I want you to feel bad about what you do. I want you to feel less than. I want you to feel a little low. I want you to feel like you're uh, uh, using her. Thank you. You are using her. <laughs> but you're on her. But no, 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 no. I want you to feel like that because that might be the only impetus you have I don't think to so. get up, still think he, man he, up, he, and he do the right him. thing. And then if he can't do that, don't you open your mouth and complain about it again because you are allowing it. Do better, people. If I were you, down to the courthouse, eviction notice, 30 days, brother would be on the corner. But I'm not you. you do what you want. Long. Huh? I need mean, seven days or three. I can't Whatever it is, you can get him out if you want him out. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Do you think Judge Lynn got through to him today? Nah. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I mean, your daughter said he should go. Judge Lynn kind of hinted at that, too. How long are you willing to wait? I'm not. I'm ready for him to go, too. She said she's ready for you to go, man. Do you think you can fix this, or is this too late? No, I can fix it. I know it's not too late. Ain't nothing ever too late. I'll be able to fix it. Okay, all right. Well, wish you the best. All right, thank you. All right.